Hi Libra, I hope you're all doing well. We're gonna get into your general message and see what Spirit wants to talk to you about today. There's a lot of energy here I feel you're working with. I think there's a lot going on in your life or a lot coming in for you soon. And it feels like there's different ways in which you could focus your energy. So be careful about what's in your mind, what's in your focus at this time, because there is a lot here on the table for you. So if you pay too much attention to something that maybe is sucking your energy, you could miss another opportunity. That's what I'm feeling. I feel like something new is coming in for you. Maybe this is related to the lunar eclipse. Uh, we're going to see what the cards say, of course, but I just feel this in the energy that there's, you know, you could feel a little scattered and you need to make conscious decisions about where you want to direct your time and your energy and whatever you focus in is in on is what will grow for you. Okay. So let's see, Libra, we're going to look at the energies that are supporting you as well as the energies that are presenting a challenge. I'm using, uh, the untamed spirit animal Oracle and the tattoo tarot deck. This is a general message here on YouTube, so it may not resonate for all. I mean, it, it won't resonate for all because it's general, <laughs> okay? So just know that that is normal. Oh, we have a cat coming out with independence, psychic powers, and viper, fear and healing. Ooh, I love these energies for you, Libra. Very fierce. Okay, that's your support. Let's see what your challenge is. If this reading does resonate for you and you want to go a layer deeper, there will be an extended available and that link is in the description box below. Okay, Libra. What's going on for my Libras? Libra. Libra. Someone's wondering where you are. I don't know in what context of your life could be in any aspect, but I'm, I heard, where's Libra? <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> okay. Raven, magic, destiny. Ooh, this has been the Raven in different decks has been coming out for a few signs in their challenge position. Something about omens here could be a little bit tricky at this time. Okay. Um, you might be seeing a lot of omens and not know what they mean or synchronicities and signs. I feel like for some of you, it's kind of a WTF spirit. Like, what are you trying to tell me? What? Just say it straight up. <laughs> Why do I got to interpret this sign or figure out what it means for myself? The reason why spirit talks to us like that, or the reason why our subconscious manifests out of us in the 3D physical form for us to notice, that's another way of um, saying that is because we are meant to go on a conscious discovery of what things could mean to us. You know, awakening, becoming enlightened is all about becoming more conscious. So when we're asked to interpret something, it's an exercise in becoming more consciously aware of what certain things mean to us, energies, signs, symbols, you know, it's like we have to do the work to come to the resolution and to the answer ourself. And that's part of the path. That's part of the journey with spirit. So I feel like, you know, yeah, I'm a Libra rising. Uh, and I, and my, my dad's a Libra too. And I feel like the two of us do this a, a lot. It's kind of like, well, what does it mean? Just tell me what it means. Like, why do I have to figure it out? <laughs> and I feel like, you know, there's something going on here where spirit really wants you to figure out what something means for yourself. Something about figuring that out will bring you more answers than you could ever imagine. For example, if you see a raven and you take it as a sign or a synchronicity, do some research on what the raven symbol means. What does it mean for different cultures? What did it mean throughout history? Find out what resonates with you and you're going to find a wealth of information here, I feel. Now, your power here, your supportive energy is psychic powers and independence. So this is growing your psychic intuition by yourself, by your own hand. And when, when you feel like you've actively worked on and developed your intuition and your psychic abilities by 
doing actual work like researching signs and symbols or doing active meditation or something like that, you get much more confident with those intuitive hits that you receive and your psychic abilities because you've worked for them, right? Think about it like going to school and studying for a test or an exam. You study, you pass the test, and you're much more confident that you know that knowledge, you know, and that's not going to be taken away from you versus just going into the test and just randomly having to receive you know, the answers are on the side there for you. Somebody left a, a cheat sheet there for you and you just pass the test because of the cheat sheet and you know all the answers. You're likely to forget them in the future because you didn't put the work in. Ooh, Libra, very interesting message. I thought we were going to talk about some relationship stuff. <laughs> I don't know. Spirit wants to switch it up today for you. Okay, if you feel like some different kind of messages, there's a whole playlist. My readings are timeless. You can check that out. Uh, but this is talking to you about really honing in on doing the work of spiritual development. This is a message of support for your own power. You know, the spirit wants you to build your power and feel confident in your power. This will help with any fear you have. It will help you heal any fears as well. Now, I feel like there is a fear that you're getting over. Let's see what else is um, the challenge here with the raven. Ooh, we got some cards coming out. Wild goose, trust in the group and communication. Yeah, it's like maybe you need to get a group think. Screw what other people are saying about what the emperor card means. I don't know where this is coming from. Maybe somebody's actually doing it. Screw that. Figure out what it means for yourself. You know, look at the card. What emotions does it bring up on you? Write down your own meaning for the card. And then you can cross-reference it and start to build your ideas into integrate your ideas with what's already been said. You know, and it's like when that card comes up, you have a personal connection to the card. You've already developed a whole meaning around it. And it's like you don't have to think about, oh, yeah, what does this card mean? Like, that's not the way to develop your knowledge, right? I don't know. This is an important message here. Responsibility and dedication, camouflage and imbalance with the anaconda. Yeah, I feel like you're trying to blend into a group or somebody wants you to blend into a group or this, even if this is love, it's like somebody wants you to be a particular way that you're just not. Okay, Libra. This is all about stepping into your individuality and your own true power. And there's something like you're one and only. Okay, Libra, let's get into your tarot cards and see what's going on for you. Libra. Spirit guides, what's up for Libra? What's going on here? I feel like this does have to do with the lunar eclipse, you know? Mm -hmm. You're definitely not following the pack. You're a quick study, okay? You learn things quickly. I'm hearing sponge. Maybe you feel like you absorb absorb information like a sponge. And that's great. But you know what you're supposed to do with a sponge, right? It's like retain all the water and then wring it out so that you can get rid of the excess and keep what is only of use to you. I think that's what you need to do here. You need to wring out some of that water, maybe some information you receive that's just kind of garbly gook, you know, it's not useful to you. Or, um, I don't know, maybe this is somebody, some experience you've had with someone. It's like only retain what you need to about the situation. This could apply in many different ways here. So make it your own message, you know? Okay, three more. Yeah, remember that you have power in your own manifestations and in your own life about what happens and what doesn't happen. Yeah, if you hear a reading I'm getting and, and you don't, you know, you feel like, oh, I don't know about that message, then don't take it. Say, I'm, I don't want to manifest that. I'm not manifesting that. Okay, I feel like some of you need to just like feel more like yourself again, more powerful. <clears throat> Okay, the energy we have at the bottom, 
the nine of cups, very nice. Okay, there's, there's something behind this curtain. See, it's like, you have all these beautiful cups here. Nine of cups, great, amazing. But this is the one you want. It's not these eight cups. Maybe you've already walked away from those eight cups. It's the one in the middle that you want. So it's like you have to discern what's for you and what's not for you. There's something more behind the curtain too. But it's like you're not going to be able to walk through the cur curtain carrying all of these cups. Just take the one you need. Okay, maybe you have some options and ch some choices on the table right now for you. You need to let some of them go here. Ace of Swords for your current energy. This is having an epiphany. Truth, clarity here. I'm seeing the number 22 and 27 in my mind's eye here. Okay, so that could, and number nine, this could mean something to you, or maybe those numbers are something you're seeing a lot of. But I feel like you're having a crown chakra activation, especially with psychic powers coming out here. Okay, your, intu your intuition is speaking to you loud and clear. I'm hearing something like Natasha or Tasha or something like that. I feel like you've been split here about something. Split, maybe you've had an option. I said this already. You've had an option here and you've been kind of going back and forth. Maybe I can divide my time. Maybe it's this, maybe it's that, you know. There's something here that needs to be resolved, the chariot, so you can move forward. You do want to move forward. And I feel like you know you have a beautiful path in front of you and you do okay i'm i'm seeing something like a, um an ocean of awareness i feel like pulling an oracle card on this an ocean of awareness ocean of awareness about what let's use these cards ocean of awareness passion about what you're truly passionate about Libra, you got to follow your passions. And I know that's like transformation. I know that's kind of like a cliche saying there, but it's a saying for a reason. Okay. These sayings don't just come out of nowhere and stick around for nothing. It's because they actually mean something here. I feel like you're discovering what you're passionate about and you're going full force towards that. And maybe something's been going on here in the collective or in your personal life or with somebody else, you know, kind of in the way that's been distracting you. And it's interesting. I, I didn't even look over here until now, but I'm seeing the outside energy that's affecting you most at this time, whether this is a situation, a job, a person is the eight of cups, the three of cups in reverse and the six of cups. See how I said, it's like you're leaving this eight of cups behind. There's an energy here that's never satisfied with what they have. Okay, like there's a lack of completion in this in this person or in this situation's energy. I feel like this energy feels like nothing's ever good enough. And I also feel like there's some arrogance here as well. Seeing the number 77 here. Um You have somebody here who it's like me against the world energy. Feels very confident. Uh, the devil. <laughs> when, well, for some of you, it's more extreme than others. So, you know, take it however it's actually resonating for you. Uh, but it's like, when they they put down others with the devil with the three of cups in reverse it's like i don't need you i don't want you i don't care about you it's that energy for some of you and for others of you it's kind of like well, i'm hearing like brown nosing it's like hmm tell me can you give me some more what do i need to say here about this outside energy the sun and the four of swords. <laughs> it's like somebody who's not seeing what's right in front of them. Not valuing the right things. Okay, there's a lot of ego here, I feel.
Yeah, I don't, um, something hard to put your finger on with this energy too. I don't know why I'm only shuffling with this part of the deck as well, which is interesting to me. Uh, I left the rest of the deck back there. The hangman. Yeah, it's like they're not even working with a full deck of cards. You know what I mean? But they're okay with that. This is somebody here who has some kind of limited resource, but wants to win with that limitation. Maybe it's a limitation of ideas or um, patience or perspective, you know, hangman here. They're happy where they're at and they're stubborn, I feel. Okay, this is, yeah, there's a stubborn energy here. And I feel like this is the energy you're moving away from. So let's see what's going to surprise you. Queen of Wands. Now, Libra, I feel like you've been taking some time out to, to yourself here. Maybe a little bit of hermit mode. And I'm noticing she's got a tattoo on her fingers and it says burn. I feel like whatever did burn you in the past, whether it's this energy or someone else, like if some of you had a difficult love connection, I know some people here have, I, I don't know if this and outside energy is them, okay? It could be, but if it doesn't really sound like it, then it could be um, energies that you're kind of exposed to or are around you that are just kind of like, what what's wrong with these people it's that kind of vibe it's like you're looking at someone and being like what's wrong with these people over here i don't i don't know about that okay <laughs> that's the energy i'm getting from this maybe some of you have a libra moon i feel okay so queen of wands with burn there's something that burned you in the past okay anything could be a, even a leo for some of you but something burned you in the past and you are taking that feeling of being betrayed or I'm hearing sauced over or like someone did you wrong and you're doing something with that. You're, you're moving towards your passion. You're transmuting the, the energy of, um, I'm hearing disgust, okay, or of just feeling let down and disappointed into your passion. See that? And that might surprise you about how far that energy can take you there. And it's not like you're you're acting or working from a wound. That's not what's happening here. What you're what you've done is you've transmuted the energy. You said, "Okay, this is a shit situation. I'm really hurt over what's been going on over here, but I'm going to do something about that. I'm going to do something with that energy. I'm going to write a song about it. I'm going to start a new career and, you know, in relation to this, okay, it, it's it's supporting you, that experience you went through. Energetically, your ability to heal from it and work through it, which you are. What's going to surprise you? We have the King of Swords. What's going to surprise you? No, sorry, that's what's ending. And maybe this is also going to surprise you, the King of Swords. Hmm... Now, if some of you, uh, there's someone in your energy, hmm. I feel like there's somebody here, maybe from the past, I don't know, or, but they have something to say about the people who are around you. It's like they don't like the people around you. That's what I'm getting. Or like they didn't, they, they thought your friends were, I'm hearing bullshit. They thought, you know, like they were negative, <laughs> in other words. Okay, they didn't see the value in something. Hmm. Tell me about this King of Swords ending. Two of Cups. Okay, some of you were dealing with someone who was cold, calculating. Could be in work, could be in love. That's ending. I feel like this is a jealous person as well. They could have made you feel... Uh, yeah, like the people around you, you shouldn't trust the people around you or people around you aren't as good as you, you know, that kind of thing in order to isolate you. Even in work, this could be 
right? It could be like a, a particular ideology that your workplace had against other people, you know, something like this. Okay, that's ending. And it's ending because I feel like you're walking away from that. You're wringing that sponge out and being like, I don't, I don't need that excess water. Your emotions, your feelings about something are not necessarily my feelings. Okay. Ace of Wands here for what's beginning. Your new opportunity, your passion. Spirit is giving you something. There is definitely something new coming into your space, your energetic space. Mm, no, let's get the card to fall out. Thank you. The devil. Ooh, for some of you, this is something uh, financially financial. Like, I don't know. I don't really like this saying because it sounds so cheesy. But a windfall of money. <laughs> like, I don't you know. Just, I don't know. Those kind of cliche phrases, I just feel are kind of, I don't know. They lack some substance sometimes, right? But I feel like there is something coming in for you like that. Now, of course, when something wants to manifest in that energy, like a windfall of money, it's not like we just sit at home eating bonbons and waiting for the check to arrive at the door. We got to do something for it. Spirit's saying the energy is present here for the taking, but you got to put out your arm and take it, okay? I also feel like whatever you're passionate about here, it's like the kind of passion that you're just enthralled with. Like you wake up and you want to do it. It's almost like an addiction. Now, I don't feel like it's negative with the devil because everything else for you looks like it's going really positive. It feels more like independence. It feels more like, you know, I'm so into this person or project that I'm doing that I just want to keep, you know, putting my energy there. Let's see. Let's clarify the devil a little bit more. Some of you, this could be a passionate relationship of some sort. The tower. Wow. This is a lot of Mars energy, I feel. You are blowing something up. You are blowing something up for yourself here. Let's see. What is this? Tell me more. Seahorse. Fatherly power and consistency. One more, one more. I want. I'm definitely going to go further into this in the extended. Firefly simplicity in childhood. Interesting. Wolf instinct and loyalty. It's like. The feeling I'm getting from this, it, it's like there's something that you were meant to do, like with your life on your, in your path. And like, you knew it since you were a child. Okay. Maybe you haven't identified exactly what it is, but you felt like this pull to something or somewhere. And it's like, you've been wanting to do this thing. You've been wanting to put, but for some reason or another, you've been involved with these people that are just kind of weird and wonky and like, you know, offsetting you. I'm hearing they've offset you from your course. Yeah, I feel like you've been hanging out with energies that are probably not working at the same wavelength as you. And here you have an opportunity coming in to continue to follow through with some kind of destiny that you're being pulled towards, but maybe you don't really understand what this is, like where this is taking you. You could even feel fearful and scared of, of diving in head first into this new passion or opportunity. But with consistency here and simplifying something to yourself, you'll be super successful. Okay, so it's like you have to show up consistent, consistently to this passion or even in this relationship. It's about consistency here for sure. And not overcomplicating something. This is really like one foot in front of the other. And I feel like Spirit's saying, don't be scared here about the big shifts and changes that this is going to create in your life. I feel like too, when this passion explodes, and I feel like it will. So if you have something work related that you've been doing and you're worried if it's not going to take off, it's going to take off. Okay, if you're meeting a new person, you're like, I don't know. If, if we're going to like, you know, is this really going to go somewhere? It's going somewhere, right? Like it's good. Uh, and it's going somewhere big. And when that happens, you're going to be able to see 
what has prevented you from obtaining this uh, thing that was meant to be your fears. Yeah, I feel like you're going to look back and be like, I can't believe I, I, I didn't do this sooner or I didn't allow myself to feel this sooner or be valued in such a way. Six of coins here, six of pentacles for your advice. Spirit is giving you an opportunity here. And there's also someone on the 3D plane that wants to support you and help you. This is part of your karmic balance. Okay, like this is, see the scales here? This is coming to you because it's owed to you karmically. Okay, this is the right thing to happen here. It's too many. I'm seeing the high priestess though, the ace of cups. Let's get one, one here for Libra. Four of wands. It's something to celebrate, some stability. It's long lasting here. For some of you, it's a connection with someone. For others of you, it's getting a house or getting some kind of stability, some kind of grounding. I'm hearing leasing a, a workspace or yeah, paying off a loan I'm hearing. I don't know. There's like something really a cause for celebration here. What's going to manifest in the next three months for you? Death. This definitely feels like it has to do with the lunar eclipse in Scorpio. Number 22 is how we're ending here. Interesting. Yeah, pay attention for twos. You might see twos a lot. But this is like the transformation here. And it has been sad. And you have been working through it. And it's been, oh my God. <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like this feeling. I can't believe this person did that. You know, I'm so tired. All of these feelings that are normal and natural when we go through something difficult. See how she's shedding that tear there. It's like she's never going to forget the difficult transformation that she's been through. But she's wearing the butterfly here, adorning herself with transformation. And making peace here with an ending, I feel. There's some big independence here coming in. Uh, I'm hearing fo you're following up nine of cups. You're following up here with your soul's passion and destiny. Now's that time to wring out that sponge. This even looks like one of those blue kitchen sponges, you know, for your dishes. <laughs> Now's the time there. And there's a dishcloth. Interesting. <laughs> okay. And really value what makes you excited. What sparks that inner fire inside of you. Put your attention there and get rid of the excess Libra. This is beautiful. So exciting. Okay, I'm going to go into your extended and we're going to go a layer deeper. I really want to dig more into this tower devil ace of wands thing. It's got so much energy there. Uh, but if this is where you go, know that there's something amazing coming up for you if you choose. Remember, you have to put out your hand. You have to do a little legwork here to get it what it is that you want. But the energy's here for you. I love you so much. I'll see you next time.